So Sacramento will get the first possession. Now Sacramento starting five. We've got the great one. Grant is out there with Richmond. And it's Williamson in at the three. And the dunk by Grant. A bit undersized for that power forward, but boy, does he get in the air so quick. Such great lift. Here's Washington. To the paint. And there's the foul. It goes against Sacramento. Yeah, quick foul to pick up right away here in the first quarter. Out to the wing. And he makes that one. Yeah, the drive to the bucket was great, but the finger roll was even better. Out of bounds, Washington takes possession. Sacramento on defense. Here is Howard. Baseline jumper. That shot missing. Richmond with it. This one for three. Rebound, Washington. And here we go. Washington fast break. And Howard has it in the corner. Nice ball movement by Washington. Here's Weber, and Weber throws it down. Great power, homie. I mean, he ripped it down <laughs> with both hands. Absolutely a resounding dunk. Guarded by Price. Back to Grant. Let's the three fly. The offensive rebound. And the dunk by Grant. And Kevin, the knack for the offensive rebound, a, a big part of what makes this guy special. Not to mention, Greg, his ability to finish with strength just like that. You know, it's an invaluable asset to have. He's as tenacious down there as anyone. Again, Howard missing. Who knows what happened there, but I'm sure the defense is aware they dodged a bullet. Pass to the great one. Here's Williamson. They set the pick. Takes the three. Outside for Richmond. Tries to save it, and that's out of bounds. Sacramento will retain possession. And you know what? Just a little too much heat on that pass for him to come up with the steal. You know, I think in his mind he was already going in the other direction, but you have to make the play first. Here's Williamson. He's guarded by Howard. A second chance effort. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. You look at the league as a whole, Doris. So much great talent in the NBA right now. But if you could go back, say in a time capsule, back to any era, what era or year would you like to go back to? And who would you like to see play live? Well, probably a couple for me. Um, Rick Barry would be a, a very high on that list because I listen to experts talk now in casual conversations. And they often talk about Rick Barry as being a guy they think could be successful now. Uh, Moses Malone, you know, I, as a fan, I grew up just on the tail end of Moses' career. But you talk about a guy who had a dominant stretch. And then uh, I would love to have seen Dr. J a little bit more again. I, I didn't see him in the ABA, saw him more in the NBA. I saw him win the championship, and that was a lot of fun. But I, I would love to have seen consistently those three men play. That would be great. I think I'm ready to go in that time capsule right now. <laughs> For Sacramento, they've gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Richmond for three, and the three ball is good. Richmond's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Nurison, and again, Washington, no good. The guy, that's the shot he'll take again if he's given the chance. We all know he can knock that down. Tries it from the top of the key. Rebound by Wallace. Ill-advised shot there. You know, I really expected him to swing that one back around. And he starts out with a miss in this one. Th that's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. Such a strong finisher on the fast break. Yeah, and he's not going to let an opportunity like that get away. I mean, he's just going to go hard to the bucket. 
Now here's Wallace. Let's it go from 14. Hit some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. We've got 28 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Richmond outside. There's the pass to Grant. Six on the shot clock. Charity strike shot. And no good that time. Hack. The shot missing. And that concludes the first quarter of play. It's Sacramento leading by five. First quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. And looking at what we've seen from Sacramento so far, uh, guys, what do you think? It's all about their defense. They have just done a terrific job of negating the timing and spacing of their opponent. Boy, they have not been caught out of position much. And they're taking great angles to the ball. I love what I'm seeing tonight. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. So on the floor for Washington. Inside, Grant hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Grant's got his third basket of the night. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Now, here's Price. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Richmond outside. Guarded by Price. They set the pick. That one off the back iron and out. Washington trails by five. Off with the layup. Just getting a hand in the face makes all the difference. That was the case there. Over to the wing. From 11 feet away, eyes again. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Yeah, good job to take it right at them. For Sacramento, they have gone one for two on the night so far from the line. Not really where you'd like to be as a team in terms of free throw shooting. Just about 73%. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played. Oh, that's blocked. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. You can see the leadership qualities on display right there, guys. You know, he's their coach on the floor. There's no doubt about that. A great communicator, a great teammate, and as you mentioned, Kevin, a tremendous leader. Doris, you've interviewed so many coaches over the years. Which coaches do you enjoy interviewing the most? Well, I have to say my classmate, Billy Donovan. Uh, oh, we, no kidding. We were both point guards in the class of 87. I like to tell Billy he was the second best one in that class. In fact, <laughs> <laughs> I do enjoy I do enjoy. I bet he enjoys that, too. <laughs> he's a good man, isn't he? Huh? He is, no question about it. And and because he's new to the league, he, he's not objecting quite yet to, to the ad nauseum questions we tend to ask over and over. How about quickly uh, uh, talking with Greg? Popovich of San Antonio which is always a challenge whether you're calling the game or you're on the sideline. I want you to understand something when I'm walking over to Greg Popovich I want you to understand that my heart is pounding. I'm probably sweating. No come on. And I'm trying not to shake. Oh come on. That's, <laughs> that's against everything you are. I know that. It's always good conversation though. Kicks it to Weber. The turnaround J. Here's Fresh. And the bucket counts, and he's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. He just has a tremendous nose for the ball. Buried his way into position and got the put back. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Pass to Marshall Onis. Out to the right wing. The natural, the pass to the great one. Sacramento moving it around. Passes it to the natural. Poked away. Yeah. 
Pass to Pat. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Here's Hurley. And again, it's Sacramento converting. <laughs> wow, risky shot there size-wise. But the incredible skill that he possesses allows that one to go. Oh, no doubt. I mean, because of the size difference, that's probably not the one-on-one -on -one matchup they'd like to go to very often. But it worked that time. Wallace's shot is good. Wallace! 12 seconds left in the first half of the game. And there's the pass to the natural. Out left to the wing. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding dunk. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. With one on the clock. He's off on that one. And we finished one half of basketball. Sacramento leads by eight. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, everybody. Ernie Johnson here, along with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Time to review the first half of Shaq. Let's get your insight on the visiting team. Well, what's really shifted the game in their favor has been their rebounding. They got a good edge on the board, and that's a product of their hard work. All five guys have been battling, putting everything they have to fight on the glass. That needs to remain the focus for two more quarters if they want to hang on to that lead. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about this home team? Well, I think they could be way more physical than they have been in the first half. Their defense gave up way too many easy looks, and that kind of defense will turn to a loss any night. And that about wraps it up, as the second half is just moments away. Now down to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the crew, and we will see you after the game, won't we? And the third quarter about ready to get underway. Washington trails by eight. Getting underway here in the second half. Here's the five for Dave Yeager. We've got the natural. Great one out there with Marshall Onis. And it's Houston at the four. Howard kicks to Weber. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. Weber's got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for Washington. Pass to the natural. Foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. All the officials are all over that one. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. And he knocks down the first one. Good on both. Washington shooting at 44%. Pretty reasonable. Price kicks to Howard. Back to Price. It's blocked. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Pass to the great one. And it's sent back by Howard. Three-pointer. That one, no good. Sacramento leading by eight. Grant with a screen on Price. The pass to the natural. It's Richmond on the wing. Target there that would have pushed the lead to double digits. Howard with it now defended by Grant Weber. That's good. And so Howard with the assist. Weber's got four points this quarter. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Dishes it to Richmond. And Richmond with the stuff. That's as forceful a finish as you're ever going to see out of this guy. Well, gee, it adds now to their lead in spectacular fashion. You know, and I'm not seeing any urgency out of this defense, especially considering the deficit in the score. And that's out of bounds. Sacramento will retain possession. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. And 
And again, it's Sacramento converting. There's 154 left to play here in the third. Time out, so timeout time out called here. The first for Washington. And that's how we play the game. Bring it in. Let's go. I like what I see out there, fellas. We're playing like we want it more than them. Do not give them any life out there. Understood? We got this. Habits necessary for success. It taught me that my success very often is contingent on the success of people around me. That it's important that I'm pulling in the same direction as, as the people who are trying to lead me. Um, it's also brought me some of the best friendships in my life. So uh, basketball has meant just about everything it could to someone. Well said. Well said. Pax checked in for Price. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Passes it to the natural. Here's the dish to Richmond. Just four to shoot. Sacramento needs to get off a shot. Here's Grant. Rebounded by Howard. Washington trails by ten. To the paint. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. We'll shoot one more at the free throw line. The heads up aggressive play right there. Saw the smaller man on him and took it straight to the basket. Wallace has checked in for Washington. Washington shooting their fourth attempt at the free throw line right here. For Sacramento, they've gone two of five shooting here in the third quarter. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. For Sacramento, they have shot 75% at the stripe, six of eight. And that one misses. For Washington, they've gone three of six in the third quarter, 50% from the field. Nice ball movement by Washington. Here's Weber. Offensive rebound. That's tipped. Here's Richmond. And again, it's Sacramento converting. Hitting a high percentage of his shots. He's been a real catalyst for their success. To the middle. Here's Weber. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Weber's got six here in this quarter. But he is so efficient, so productive. But for them to have real success, he needs help. Pass to the natural. Howard with the steal. Shot and game clock separated by five. Here's Wallace. Howard dishes to Wallace. That's good. And so Howard with the assist. Howard's got his third assist on the night. To the middle. Here's Colonies. Boom. He jams it straight down. And he's been the catalyst all game long. Love how he's distributing the basketball. Yeah, their ball movement has been superb with him on the floor. And so many of their baskets coming directly off one of his dimes. One second left, and no good trying to get that one. The third quarter comes to a close. It's Sacramento leading by nine. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. Hello, and thanks for joining us, folks. The fourth quarter of play should begin momentarily. Sacramento leading by nine. Flash out there with Wallace. Then it's fresh. Then there's Price. That's the group on the floor right now for Washington. And it's sent back by Wallace. One-on-one -on -one fast break. And there's Price. That's good on the assist by Wallace. Price has got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for Washington. the pass to the natural. Grant gets a wide open look. Rebound by Wallace. Wallace has got three rebounds so far in the game. Pass to Fresh. Down low. Count that one in the Sacramento lead has been cut down to five on the bucket from Wallace. And yeah, they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. Uh, you know, I think he just wants to tinker. Listen, guys. We've got one guy doing all the damage out there. 
He's having too much success attacking us from the perimeter. Let's make it tough out there. Every time he has the ball, we are smothering. Sacramento making a switch here. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, I was able to listen in on what Dave Yeager went over with his team. He was pretty clear cut to them. He said, look, we need to play with some edge out there. I don't care what the lead is. Do not back off. You know, those kinds of shots from close range, they're real confidence builders. Hard to miss those. And Howard has it in the corner. From 12 feet out, out of bounds, Sacramento takes possession. And so here's Sacramento. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. Here's Richmond. That shot, no good. Now Washington takes it the other way. Wallace, the pass to Price. Now the feed to Howard. Sacramento grabs the miss. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Tries from 16, gets the front of the rim and out. Washington trails by seven to the left wing. All alone. And that one's good. Fresh. Now is not the time to be giving him that kind of shot. Certainly not. This is when you want to see tight, aggressive defense. Everybody on point down the stretch in a close game. Passes to Williamson. Houston. All is covering. Down to five on the shot clock. Pass to Williamson. And stolen by Howard. And now Price running the floor all by himself. Howard wide open. That's in coming off an assist from Price. Price has got four assists in the game. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. They're up by three. This is it. Do not take your foot off the gas pedal now, gentlemen. He is really causing problems for us. They're making a change here. Weber's checked in. Tipped away. Price against Richmond. It's going to be two free throws, two contact on the shot. Yeah, easy call. So the first one drops, and that gives them a four-point cushion. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a five-point game. Wow, I tell you what, those free throws will give them some much-needed breathing room. Two-possession game now. Price outside. He dishes it to Howard. From 17 feet out, Sacramento grabs the miss. The great one's got three rebounds now in this one. Feeds to Grant. Here's Williamson, and he dunks it down. You know, that's just intelligent basketball. Put that pass exactly where it needed to go to set up the shot. And uh, 101 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Price kicks to Howard. Misses from short range. For Sacramento, they've gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter. So far. they are two of six. And the layup's good off the glass. Timeout, timeout. And now it's a nine. Great job, guys. Nice work. Take a seat now. Let's talk. I love the energy, fellas. I really do. But now we got to with a whole new group here. Nailed from three-point land. Well, I think defensively, you've got to think twice about giving him that good a look from three-point range. Out of bounds. Washington takes possession. That's a horrific turnover. This game is ours. Let's draw it up. Come on. I'm out. They're down by six. There's 42 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It's going to take something special for them to come back now. Time certainly not on their side, but stranger things have happened. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Not the strongest play defensively, though. I mean, he was taken out by that screen far too easily. <laughs> he 
just powered that one down. One of the game's top dunkers. This is a huge possession. And this is where all the hard work pays off. You have to be able to execute under pressure. The rebound by Grant. Not a quarter to remember as far as his offense is concerned. You no, know, it feels like he's forcing things. Getting a little frustrated by not letting the game come to him. So he gets them both, and it's an eight-point game. Washington calls timeout. They're trailing by eight. 24 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Twenty-four seconds left in the fourth quarter. It's tipped. Weber dishes the price. For the three. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. They've led by as many as 11 points. The pass to Williamson. So it's Sacramento picking up the win. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. And hello again, everybody. Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. I'll tell you what, his season high in points powered everything they did. Clearly, he was the catalyst tonight as they come away with a well-deserved W. He had a solid night from the field. He showed great focus, hit on over 50% of his attempts, and made many of those shots with guys draped all over him. Well, Ernie, reminds me of myself. He loves being the bad guy, and he was a great villain tonight. Just sticking it to those fans. Anytime they got on his case, he stepped up and hit a big shot after big shot. Fantastic performance in a very tough environment. And that'll wrap things up. Thank you for joining us. For Shaquille O'Neal, for Kenny the Jet Smith, for Kevin Harlan, wherever he might be, and for the rest of the 2K Sports crew. The